Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Ellsworth. What we're going to be talking about is, well, are, are the rate diagrams again, but we're going to be using some math to help support that. And before I forget, um, I will be posting one problem of a rate diagram that I want you to do. There are extras that I'll give you that have got answers to them. And so um, if you want to practice more, you can. And then um, tomorrow I will just give you just one ray diagram where you have to draw that that ray diagram and I'll give you partial credit for things that are correct on it and of course if you get full credit for it then that means you got everything right okay so let's go ahead and, and look a little bit further into this okay so do you remember a while back I said that that the rays from the Sun come in parallel rays from the Sun because it's so far away that the rays are parallel anyway um, if we just look at this diagram right here, here are the incoming rays into a curved mirror. So if we would have been in the classroom, we would have, and it would have been a sunny day, we could have taken the mirrors outside and taken a piece of tissue paper and get all of the sun rays into one tight spot. And that's what we call the focal point. Okay, it's where all the incoming parallel rays come from, Incident rays bounce into the mirror, come back out of it, and then they focus at one point. And this gets to be such a bright light that you can't look at it because if you think about it, it's, it's all this area of sunlight that is put into one small little pinpoint. And so that becomes kind of hard to see. I will say that spherical mirrors like this are not as um, perfect as a parabolic mirror. A parabolic mirror that's concave like this also um, has got a parabola shape in it and they don't have spherical aberrations like the spherical mirror will. So a parabolic mirror is a little bit more um, better for not getting these little ghost-like images in them, aberrations. Okay. Also, if you're going to look into a convex mirror, here comes all of those rays going in at a, at a um, parallel from the sun and then they bounce back and you'll notice that they also diverge from the mirror they, they go apart they split apart there's no way it can come across this this um, shape and not diverge but where do those rays go out we find out that it belongs to this focal point again so that if you would look at these these rays that they come back from this focal point at that type of direction Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead now and and look at something. If you remember, I I gave you a document for ray di diagrams that told you which one was the first ray, which one was the second ray, which one was the third. Well, there's also a couple of formulas on there too, and one of those formulas is is finding where the the image is. Okay. So if you would go and look at this. Um, we've got one over the distance of the object, so that's from the mirror. That is the distance of the object from the mirror. Okay, and this one looks like it's about 14 centimeters from this mirror. Okay, and then um, another one that, that we need to know about is where is the distance of the focal point from the mirror. And then we'll be calculating later on where the distance from the image is from the mirror. Okay, so it's always taken from the mirror. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. So if you would go and rearrange this, because what we need to do is we need to find this one right here. We need to find the distance of the image because um, we were given where the object is placed. We know what the focal point is, and we've got a ray diagram, and let's see if we can confirm our ray diagram. So let's go ahead and arrange, rearrange this. So let me get a pen here. We've got one over, that's going to drive me crazy. Okay, we've got one over F minus one over the distance of the object, because that's one that we got given to us in our problem. So that's distance of object equals one over distance of image. Now, it's going to take a little bit of thinking to do about how do we solve this, because this is actually, these are all reciprocals. Well, let's go ahead and, and write down what we do know. We do know that the focal length is 6.1, 1, so 1 over 6.1. And I recommend when you put this in your calculator, you put parentheses around it, that you put 1 over the distance of the object, or object is 14 centimeters. 
Okay, and so go ahead and put that in your calculator and pause this. You will get a number like 0 0.092, and it keeps on going. You have to recognize that your answer is a reciprocal. So you have to recognize that this is 1 over 9.2. So what do you do when you get this value in your, in your calculator? You go and press your x to the negative 1 button. Or maybe yours says 1 over x. And so that will give you the reciprocal. So when you do that, you will get 10.8 centimeters. Okay, now I want you to go and double check and make sure that you get these calculations correct before you go any further. Um, this is always a surprise to students in the classroom because we'll end up having a couple of errors. And so I want you to go and double check and make sure that this is working correctly. Um, let me do something else here real quick. Oops, I knew that would be a problem. And so let me go and group this. And let's get this out of here. <laughs> I missed one part of it. So where is our object at? Is it at 10.8 centimeters? It is. Now notice that there's a positive value. Everything that is on this side of the mirror is a positive value. And so when we went and punched in our numbers, we had a positive 1 over 14, a positive 1 over 6.1 for, for, um, for both the focal length and also the distance of the object. Okay, now there's another thing that you can calculate too, and that is the magnification. So the magnification, we can use this um, formula right here, and we don't have the height information. You could go and do that, because if your object of your, of your image was higher or longer than the height of your original object, then it makes, makes it so that this would be greater than 1, so you'd have a magnification saying that's being multiplied by this much. Well, we don't have this part in our formula. We've got the distance of the object. Now we've got the distance of the image because we just figured it out. And so we can go and calculate that. Okay, so m equals, and it's a negative. I always put it up in the numerator so I don't lose it. The distance of my image was 10.8. Okay, centimeters. And then also where was my object placed at? It was 14 centimeters. So we've got now that. Um, when I went and calculated out, I figured out that we got a negative 0.77. I am not grading for um, significant figures during our COVID-19 break here that we have from school. So um, there is no unit on this. Centimeters both cancel out. And now I'm going to try and figure out how I can get these all together so we can see what all we are missing here. Okay, let's try and group these things with this one. Okay. And let's pull this back. Okay, so our object, our image, is about 0.77 of what the object height is. And so that shows you that it's a little bit smaller when it's 0.77. As soon as it's 1, then they will be equal in size. Now notice that it is a negative 0.77. Whenever it is negative, it means that it is a real image and it is inverted. So that's great. That, that proves all of our um, information. So when, when you get the magnification that is negative, that means it's upside down and inverted. And a real image. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay. Okay, now our object has been placed at about 10.3 centimeters. I count these, each one of these blocks to be a centimeter. Um, anyways, it's 10.3 centimeters um, from the mirror, and then the focal length is 6.1 from the mirror. And so let's go ahead and do some calculating with this one. Okay, again, we've got 1 over f minus 1 over distance of object equaling 1 over distance of image. Okay, so again, our focal length is 6.1. Okay, and I, I recommend that you put that in parentheses when you use your calculator. Okay, and then the distance of the object is 10.3 centimeters. Okay, so you put that in your calculator, and you should get um, like 0 0.0668 something. So um, you can see that, that you still need to put it under 1, or else press X to the negative 1 button, 
And when you do that, you're going to get a value of 14.959. So we're just going to round to the nearest um, tenth right now. So it's going to be 15.0. Okay, and that's centimeters from the mirror. Again, it's positive, so that means it's going to be on this side of the mirror. And, and let's go and look. Where was it at? Hey, here's 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, excuse me, 13, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it is pretty good, okay? And so let's go ahead and keep on moving forward with this so that we don't run out of time. Okay, also our magnification on this case. Our magnification in this case is M equals, um, let's see, it'd be negative distance of the image. Okay, so that's going to be di over do. Our distance of our image is 15, and our object is 10.3. So when you go and calculate that, it just so happens I already have that one calculated for us, you get a negative 1.5. Okay, that means that our, that our image is 1.5 times bigger than our original one, and it is real and inverted because it's negative. Okay, 1.5 times the size of it, and it is negative and inverted, real image. Okay, when you go and you look at this one, boy, okay, you've got the focal length, and the thing is sitting at the focal length. So when we had our, our um, you got 1 over F minus 1 over D O. Okay, that's going to be 1 over 6.1 minus 1 over 6.1. So you're going to get 0 in the bottom of your fraction here, so it is undefined, so there will be no image. Okay, and so um, this doesn't work either, so there is no image. And that makes sense because on this type of situation, remember our lines were parallel yesterday when we did this, so there will be no image. Okay, I'm going to quickly pop over here to the next one, and I'm going to have to do some pausing on it so that I can get into the get into the 15 minutes here. We've got an object placed at 1.3 centimeters. We know that our image is going to be over here, so hopefully our answer will be negative. Our focal length is 6.1. I'm going to pause this now, and I'm going to write out the formulas for us. Okay, if you remember right, our object is just 1.3 um, centimeters from the mirror and our focal length is 6.1 so when you go and subtract this you're going to get a negative value you get a negative and remember again I'm sorry remember to put parentheses around each one of these you'll get a negative 6.05 and remember that that is below 1 so you got to take x to the negative 1 with it and you are going to get a negative value for it well it's a negative 1.7 we're off a little bit here 1.7 centimeters negative means it's on this side of the mirror so it's negative 1.7 meters from the mirror, and um, and so if you go and look at the magnification, also you got that negative 1.7. Our formula has already got a negative d di in it over the 1.3 for our object. Maybe I should have this over here. Distance of image over distance of object. You're going to get a positive 1.3. Positive means, with magnification, positive means that it is upright and it is a virtual image. Okay, so um, this is the math that we need to, to accomplish with this. And so I will also post some questions about this for Friday after you take your quiz on the one single problem. So I will post that information and get that to you. You have a great day today.